Today, we're here with Shen, one of Mercer's financial advisors. Welcome. Thanks, Tatiana. Mercer offers seven funds. Can you please give us a brief summary of each of those funds? The key difference between each of the funds or investment options is how much they invest in certain assets. For example, some funds invest more in cash and bonds, and some more in shares and property. Growth assets tend to be those whose return can grow over time, such as equities and property. The risk on these type of assets are that there is no guarantee of capital being returned. Defensive assets, on the other hand, tend to pay fixed returns, such as cash and fixed interests. There is an explicit commitment to have the capital returned to investors at a given point in time. That influences the risk of the fund returning low, high, positive or negative returns over a certain period. For more information, I suggest that you look at the product disclosure statement and each of the quarterly fund updates, which provide a more granular view. Here is a brief overview of each of the seven investment options Mercer offers. The cash fund is 100% cash and there is no minimum time frame. It is designed for investors who don't want exposure to growth assets or if they need to take the funds out in the short term. The Conservative Fund is 80% defensive and 20% growth. There is a recommended time frame of three years. It may be suitable for investors who want to achieve slightly higher returns than those expected from investing solely in the cash fund. Investors need to be comfortable with the possibility of some fluctuations in returns. The Moderate Fund is 60% defensive and 40% growth. There is a recommended time frame of five years. This may be suitable for investors who want to invest in a fund with a broad mix of assets and who are comfortable with a higher degree of volatility in returns than can be expected from the Conservative Fund. The Balanced Fund is 40% defensive and 60% growth. There is a recommended time frame of 8 years. This may be suitable for investors who want a diversified investment with exposure to shares, real assets, fixed interest and cash. This fund can expect to have a higher degree of volatility in returns than can be expected from the moderate fund and is more suited to investors who can invest in the long term. The growth fund is 20% defensive and 80% growth. There is a recommended time frame of 10 years. It may be suitable to investors wanting to invest mostly in growth assets who are comfortable with accepting more volatile returns than those expected from the balanced fund with a view to achieving higher, longer-term returns. High Growth Fund is 5% defensive and 95% growth. There is a recommended time frame of 13 years. This may be suitable for investors wanting to invest predominantly in growth assets, who want higher, long-term returns and are comfortable with higher volatility in returns. The Shares Fund is 100% growth. There is a recommended time frame of 13 years. This may be suitable for investors seeking exposure mostly to shares and who are comfortable with a high level of volatility in returns.